Father Pat joining us again today on uh, SSJ at Home. And uh, Father, thanks for, um, for coming back and visiting with us. And uh, I know you just got off retreat um, a couple of weeks ago. We talked about it briefly last week, but um, uh, uh, it was such a um, wellspring of um, knowledge and information that you uh, took away from the conference that you were a part of that uh, you're able to build a, um, a couple of series uh, nights of, um, of what you learned on the Dead Sea Scrolls for this year's picnic series. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, Want to announce that we will be doing a a picnic series. We're trying to put uh, all of the different classes together. Uh, we'll have both an English track and a Spanish track. Um, I look at it being the uh, Thursdays in August. August was that August sixth, August thirteenth, and August twentieth. Um, that first week, August sixth, um, in English, I'll be doing a a, a talk on what I learned uh, during my retreat on the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, about talking about it. I had, I had known about the Dead Sea Scrolls. I, uh, on my pilgrimages to the Holy Land, uh, we visit the, the site of the Dead Sea Scrolls, a place called Qumran. Uh, there's, there's an archaeological dig there. There was like a, a, a monastery there in that in that area, it was uh, a group of Jewish people known as the Essenes that that uh, lived in that area. And the Dead Sea Scrolls were these scrolls hidden in the caves. They were their their library, and uh, and and it's really fascinating because this these were writings that were written at the time Jesus was there, right? From you know around uh, a century before Jesus to a century after Jesus, and um, it really helps us to put into context a lot of things that are in the gospel. And what I was especially uh, uh, interested in this uh, during my retreat, what the person was talking about during the retreat was um, how the, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls supports um, our Catholic uh, thoughts about sacraments, right? You know, we, we feel like, like, like Jesus instituted these, these seven sacraments that uh, uh, really bring us grace in a special way, that, 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 that really make the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit active in our lives. And, you know, today, scholarly studies and things like that, um, you know, starting in about the 50s, they were trying to look for the historical Jesus. And of course, um, we as Catholics have much more of a, a sacramental mentality than our, our Protestant brothers and sisters. And, and a lot of the scholarly studies today try to dismiss the, the spirituality, the sacramentality that you, that you find in the Gospels. And, and what's interesting, when you read the Dead Sea Scrolls, you can start seeing connections between the Dead Sea Scrolls and things we read in the Scriptures. It even highlights things that are in the Old Testament, right? The, about how the Holy Spirit moves, the, the whole idea of, of uh, baptism and the Holy Spirit being there in the water. Um, you know that that that's 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 in the Old Testament. That's supported in uh, some of the writings that we find in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it really brings out that there's really something special there about the, how the Holy Spirit moves in and through our sacrament. So I'm really excited to uh, kind of talk about that, talk about some of the things that I learned um, there. Uh, it was a professor by the name of uh, Dr. John Berksman. He has a book out, uh, Jesus in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and he kind of talked about, that's his, you know, background is he uh, talks about how the Dead Sea Scrolls point to our, our the the spirituality, the sacramentalism uh, that we know so well in the Catholic Church. Do we know why the Essenes um, put these scrolls into caves? Well, it was their library, right? So the, uh, there is a, there is a, a settlement uh, right below these caves uh, known as Qumran. And it's, uh, it's obvious that this uh, settlement was a was, well, for lack of a better word, a Jewish monastery, right? It was a bunch of men living celibate. They, there were a thousand graves out there. 
all the graves that they uh, inspected are all all indicate that it was males. They can't find any female artifacts there. So it seems to have been a monastery, a, a learned place. Um, and, 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 and it's thought then the caves were kind of their library, right? So they found over 800 to 900 scrolls um, in these caves. And, and that's where they put them for, for uh, safekeeping. It, one of the theories is that we'll talk about in the class was that uh, uh, John the Baptist actually grew up there at, at, at Qumran. Uh, that it's, there is evidence in the writings and all that uh, this monastery would take in young boys and train them and, and, and have them grow up in, in, the, in the thing. And so one of the theories is that John the Baptist actually grew up there. There's a lot of similarities in what he has and what he does. So, um, so that's all part of the interesting things that we've got with this uh, thing. I think typically in any other year, we'd be talking picnic series. Oh, I'm gonna pack some chicken and, and go down and uh, hear this, but uh, not the case this year, I'm guessing. No, our picnic series will be a little bit different. It'll be Zoom based, like what we're doing now. We'll uh, put out information about how to connect uh, via Zoom. Um, and, uh, and you know, still be potluck, but you can't share your food. So you can bring your, uh, bring your dinner and just munch on it there, order the chicken and bring it down and, and, uh, munch on it while we talk. So. <laughs> Sounds good, Father. Uh, seven o'clock beginning on August the 6th and then, uh, subsequent Thursdays uh, on the 13th and the 20th. Is that correct? All right. There'll be both an English and a Spanish track to this. So we'll have one Zoom number that'll be all in English and another Zoom number that'll be all in Spanish. Mm. We'll pass along the uh, codes for the Zoom uh, hookup uh, as we get closer right here on SSJ at home. Father Pat, we'll talk to you later this week. All right, thank you, bye.